Hi folks, Joe here. Ernie here, how are you doing? We're here at Boshack, Boshack Ernie. Yeah. Yes, about 30 kilometres east-ish of uh, 2J in Western Australia. And we're going to make you um, something absolutely delicious. It's just a twist on a good old scone recipe. Oh, that sounds nice already. Sounds twist good, on yes. an old scone, or yep. as they say in England, scone. That's right, scone. Mm. So we're just going to make up a basic scone mix, which is uh, four cups of flour, one can of lemonade, and 300 millilitres of cream. Oh, that sounds good already. Yes, I know it is. So I'm just going to get the cream out of the fridge out of the trusty angle. Now we're going to put the cream in the middle. So I'm mm -hmm. going to make a well in the middle of the flour, just yep. like that. So now we've got our well, mm -hmm. we need to pour the cream in. Uh -huh. So pour, the cream goes in first, just like that. <laughs> uh -huh. Good buller cream. Yes, and it doesn't have to be fresh cream out of the um, fridge either. It can just be the UHT cream. So you, you can get away with using the UHT cream as well. Next, we need to put in uh, 300 millilitres of lemonade. You can actually pour it into your empty cream oh. carton and right. you can measure it out exactly if you want to. Okay, so the next thing is that we've got to mix it all together. So you start from the middle of your bowl and you just start incorporating the flour into all of your liquids. And the significance of very scientific? Oh, possibly not, but it just uh, alleviates the need of getting lumps and clumps in your dough. You do it nice and gently and take your time. Okay, so from now, you can see that the dough is just combined. And you can, nice and fluffy. Yeah, and you can touch it and it doesn't stick to your fingers too much. So now we need to just put a little extra flour out onto the table or onto your work surface, doesn't need to be a table. And all we do now is just tip it out onto that floured surface. Scone dough is something that you shouldn't play with too much. So all we need to do is press it down. Now today, because I'm going to make these special little surprise scones, mm -hmm. I'm going to cut this mixture into half. So I'm going to set half aside and that's going to become scones. So we'll put that back into the bowl. And the other half is going to become chocolate scone bombs. Chocolate, my favourite. Yes. All right, okay. flatten it out. I'm going to flatten it out till it's quite thin, probably about a centimetre. What we need to do is just cut this into four pieces. So as you can see, I've actually flattened it out quite thin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to dive into the angle and get out our little treats. I oh, can't no. the, oh, they're my favourites. Oh, well, yeah, yeah it looks like they're favorites. everybody's favourites. Yeah. So, I can't it? believe you hid the chocolate from me. <laughs> oh, really I can't, can't believe I managed to keep them hidden from you. <laughs> All right, so now you pick yeah. something. Anything okay. you like. There's right. all sorts of all okay. sorts of stuff in there. Well, my favourite is the Turkish delight. <laughs> You're not going to use see, the Turkish try, delight. Well, I was just thinking the <laughs> Turkish delight is, you know, it's something that it's sort of like on its own, and you just, um, I just got to. You have to, yeah, you have to. Mm, my favourite. So now that we've had the one for you, oh my goodness, he's speechless. We're going to put them into the scondo. They just need to take your little piece of chocolate, your little favourite, out. Put it in the middle of your scondo. Then we need to fold it over and around. So just fold it around. Squish it in there in the middle. And then we've got our little chocolate scone bomb. Okay, finished putting all of the uh, chocolates inside of the dough. Now I've got to put it on a tray and then take it over and put it in the camp oven. So the scone bombs are in the oven. Now all I've got to go and do is uh, rescue the rest of the chocolates from Ernie. There's none left. Oh. Well, it's been about 20 minutes. Time to check on my little scone bombs. Oh. And yes, a couple of them have exploded. And they're, oh, good. They're smelling delicious, Ernie. Look at that. Mmm, like those... What do you call them? Like the little eclairs. Chocolate eclairs. Chocolate eclairs, eclairs. yes, they do. Smell very much like that. Look at that. Well, your two didn't work properly. Well. Oh, no. Scone bombs. They've exploded. They worked perfectly. 
new twist on the old scone recipe. You make half your scone dough into scones and then make half of it into a few little chocolatey surprises that everybody will love.